Hello, and today I'm here reviewing Wings of Fire Escaping Peril. This is the latest book in the Wings of Fire series by Miss Sutherland. I can't pronounce her first name. It's very difficult for me. This has been a five out of five star series the entire way around. First of all, the characters are so diverse, and the very first book we really fell in love with Clay. And because Clay was like this lovable, cute little teddy bear, giant dragon, and he's just so nice, and we fell in love with him. So then we had Tsunami's books, and then Glory, and I don't know who all's. But <laughs> anyway, now we are on what has happened after the prophecy. And I'm about to give a spoiler on what happened in the previous book. So please, if you don't want spoilers, kind of mute this for like the next 10 seconds. Okay, so in the last book, we know that Jade Academy has been founded and it is, there's a prophecy now and it's just, whoo, it's been a roller coaster ride. And in the last one, Winter left. Okay, so this one's called Escaping Peril. So we know that the main character is going to be Peril, which is a dragon who is cursed with fire scales. What does that mean? That means anything she touches burns. She sets everything on fire. She can't even touch another dragon because they will crumble into black ash if she touches them. The exception being Clay, our lovable hero from the very first book. He's immune to fire scales because he's a mudwing and he happened to have the right type of egg. So really lucky. So he's really Peril's only friend. That being said, this book does not have a whole lot of clay in it. Yeah. But it was still amazing because there was a lot of character development in this book. Peril really, we see into her mind and she is, her thought processes are just so out there. Everything revolves around what Clay would want her to do. And there comes a point in the book and he's like, I am not going to be another Scarlet for you. You have to learn how to make your own decisions. And nobody needs to force you. And we really see her... It's kind of a heavy subject for a middle grade book, but she was really abused and tormented and brainwashed by Scarlet. And we see a lot of character development in this book. She begins making friends who aren't Clay. And it's, you know, there's also a really tough decision for her at the end. And she has to basically make it by herself. And it was very difficult for her. This is really a great book for young and old alike. If you if you don't like middle grade books and you find them tiresome, this is a series that I recommend. And if you're a parent and you want a book that's going to have two different levels, like there's the adventurous side and then there's also deeper meaning in these books. This is a really good one. This is a great book for mixed households at bedtime. This is good for girls. This is good for boys. This is good for parents and middle grade readers. This is absolutely wonderful. So like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon. And tell me what you thought about The Wings of Fire and if you've continued on with this series and why you love it and if you're excited about the next book. So anyway, like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.